Okay, this is the pack as good as I got for the Team Sweden colors with my NFL jerseys without like, you know, the green of the Seahawks jersey being overpowering. This is a really dark blue and this is yellow and this is kind of blue. So this is this is my update on the Sarah Stroustrom quest for a 50 meter butterfly uh, medal at the 2024 World Aquatics Championships with the update for the semifinals stage of this quest. So the semifinals happened Friday, 16 February 2024 over in Doha, Qatar. I'm filming this Friday, 16 February 2024 in the Seattle area of Washington State, United States of America, Planet Earth, the original. I am Tannis Leonardi. This is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. I am Tannis Corley Leonardi. This is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. So in the semifinals, she achieved a time of 25.08 seconds. So she slowed down by two tenths of a second from the morning preliminaries uh and with her time she ranked uh one so first she achieved the first fastest time in the semi half finals and qualified for the final so i provide my take slash perspective on her performance and contextualize it in terms of the preliminaries not pre preliminaries semi-finals phase of her quest for individual medal number 22 at world world aquatics championships overall all right, the long course meters, so 50 meter long pool um, editions of the championships held by World Aquatics. And so, you, oh, I provided my take a little bit, so it's a little bit slower, which is good for energy conservation for the final, so which is tomorrow, Saturday, 17 February 2024. And she's also... Uh, on the start list for the 50 meter freestyle women's that starts tomorrow morning. So she'd have three races tomorrow, uh, preliminaries and a semifinals of the 50 meter freestyle in addition to the final of this 50 meter butterfly. So my guess as to why it was a little bit slower is energy conservation for tomorrow. And then in terms of her quest, she's doing well. She ranked first in the preliminaries phase of this this quest for medal number tw individual medal number 22 and she ranked first in the semifinals as well so she's on her way and so we see i already brought up on this channel she was well per one website she was entered in <laughs> the 100 meter butterfly and then for um the, the different website it was the 100 meter freestyle but she ended up swimming neither so there we go. Um, so we're at the 50s, which she did in 2023 as well. She did the 50 butterfly, 50 meter butterfly and 50 meter freestyle. Um, and I will put links to my previous individualized athletic performance contextualizations for Sarah Stjostrom performances, as well as some bonus materials. The As a tantalizing tidbit for the should she win a medal the formatting so the formatting for these vid videos the quest videos are a little bit different than the my take if none other than the title of the video in the video description um the if she does win a medal the format there is different in terms of filming as well as title and video description so at least right just this time round. <laughs> it's a and i in the past i've done um, writing productions for a championship or I've done you know a writing production for a championships and now this is a and I've done a I've done YouTube production a YouTube production for a championships before more than once um, this time it's taking on more of the individualized approach so not my first go round on covering a championships it is more of an individual focus however this time so working on uh individualizing and repeating <laughs> right um so it's not as unfamiliar once i've debuted it so to speak so this is sarah sarah Stjostrom quest 50 meter butterfly semifinals 2024 world aquatics championships and sarah Stjostrom is of sweden and i am norwegian so it is i am uh, honored to be covering, reporting, so to speak, on a fellow Scandinavian woman.